Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Putting Your Makeup On, where I post videos like this every Monday and Thursday. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to recreate this look right here, of course. I wanted to do something bright but dark at the same time, and this is the look that I came up with. So if you want to know how to recreate this look right here on my face, you know what to do. This is how we do it on Putting Makeup On, so just keep watching. Okay everyone, we are starting off with good old-fashioned eyeshadow primer and of course my favorite, the one that I'm using is from Milani. All of the shadows that I'm using today is from the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette and the first color I am dipping into is Rollin' In Dough just to set the primer of course. This is what I always do. To get things started off, I'm using the shade So Bougie as my transition color. I wanted to let you guys know I have a whole video, a live swatch video dedicated to this palette. So I will, of course, have that video listed down below. So don't forget to check that out. And then, moving right along, I'm using the shade Cocoa Truffle in with a more fluffier crease brush to blend everything all together, get some definition happening. You know how I do it. The main pink shade on my lid, I am using the shade New Money in the palette with a flat synthetic shader brush and I did wet this with a little bit of setting spray to amp up the pigmentation even more and I'm taunting the eye ever so slightly so just so I have a nice smooth surface to work with. Decadent is the black shade in the palette, and I'm not going to lie to you guys, I did have to pack this on little by little. It is a little patchy at first, but a black shade, I mean, you just kind of have to take your time with it, honestly, but, you know, little by little, you're good, you're fine, and then I am going back in with that flat shade of brush with the pink shade, just to blend everything all seamless, of course, because we don't, of course, want any harsh lines, and then I'm just using a clean blending brush just to smooth out the crease, and just so everything is married in together. I definitely wanted to pop a color in the waterline. This is the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Boots. It's a very powerful pink eyeliner, and I love it, you guys. I think ColourPop eyeliners are amazing. And then I'm using the Sephora Liquid Liner. I think this is just their regular black felt tip line. I will, of course, have a video of mine that I always talk about in every video of mine that I do tutorials. If you guys would like to see a dedicated video on winged eyeliner, I already have one. You're in luck. It's in the description box down below, so don't forget to check that out, of course. And then, this is a new mascara that I'm kind of on the fence about from Benefit, the Bad Gal Bang. I have no idea. It's a tongue twister. I'm still currently testing it out. Not my favorite mascara I've ever used. Kind of gives me a little bit of those spidery lashes, so I don't know. Moving on to the rest of the face, Combo Control Primer from Bim Minerals. I really enjoy this primer. Great for combo skin, and it just kind of smooths and blurs everything out, even before I put foundation on. Foundation is the All Hours from YSL, and as you guys could see, it's a little yellow in as far as the shade goes, but I am going to fix that later on with the powder, so no worries about that. I always like to make it work regardless. So I'm just blending this in. I think this is the E6 brush from Morphe, one of my favorite foundation brushes to smooth everything out. And this foundation is, I gotta say, really intensely long, long wearing. For those of you who are oily, I would really highly recommend it. And then this is a new guy. This is the under eye primer from Becca. Not for the lips, but for the under eyes. Testing it out. Trying to see if it makes a difference. I don't know. I'll let you guys know if I like it or not. So we shall see.
And as far as the eyes go, definitely bringing in my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Honestly, I'm thinking about picking up a different shade. This one that I'm using now is in the shade Light Sand, which I think is a little too light for me, but whatever. Again, I like to make things work regardless, and I'm just blending this in with a mix of a brush and my fingers just to melt it all in, and I'm using whatever is left over on my foundation brush just to marry everything in together. To set this, I am going in with the e.l.f. High Definition Powder. And it's a good powder. I like it. It does the job really well. And then to fix the yellow tone in with the foundation, this is the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Pressed Powder. It's a little darker in essence to my skin tone, and it does have more of a neutral undertone, which I think just fixes everything regardless. And then as far as bronzer goes, using my favorite, favorite bronzer from Bobbi Brown. I really, truly enjoy the Bobbi Brown bronzers. That is a mouthful, tongue twister. But it just it always looks good no matter what brush I use. I love it. I wanted a good amount of blush with this look, and I'm not exactly sure if this blush is still being made. It's from NYX. It's the shade Mocha. I'm sure they have a color that is similar, I guess, in their new formulation, but it's the perfect color to go along with this look. And then I'm using, for highlighter for today, my Jeffree Star. I think this is the shade Princess Cut, I want to say, and I as soon as I put that brush to my skin, I could die a happy woman. This is another product that I'm not 100% sure if they still make, but this is a NYX Primal Color Single Eyeshadow in the shade Hot Fuchsia. And I am just popping this on with a pencil brush on my lower lash line. And then, of course, definitely not forgetting to put mascara on the lower lashes as well, that way they're not naked. And then I'm using the Ozone Lip Liner from Urban Decay, and then this is the the Kat Von D liquid lip. I believe this is the shade called Mother. Yes, here we go. Really beautiful pink shade. I think it correlates really well with the eyeshadow. What do you guys think? This is the final, final look here. I am in love with how it came out. And that is about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. So that is pretty much it for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below how you enjoyed today's video. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it as well. I will have all the products listed down below, like always, along with my all my social media. So don't forget to come say hi. And I think that's all I have to say in this video other than I love you guys. And I shall see you in the next episode of Put Your Makeup On. Bye!